it's my shops a lot and I'm still learning this whole going live situation. I'm not sure. I keep messing it up. So bear with me. I think this time I have it figured out. I put my do not disturb on so hopefully nobody can call me. And we can do a live without being interrupted this time. Um, as I said before, I'm going to do one a week for all of December. And then I have a few more after that. So I'll continue to do them if people like them. I don't know if I'll continue to do them live. I'm going to try. And yeah, so I guess I will get started here. Get my lights working. And... I'm hoping to find some goodies. I hope there's some good stuff in here. It's always a treasure hunt. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Hello, Retro Diva. How are you? All right, let's see here. So we are about to get snowed in. They're talking about... Hi, Martha. They're talking about the worst snowstorm in... A generation which sounds horrifying <laughs> um, on Christmas so anyone in the New York area send in prayers for you guys I guess it's supposed to be pretty bad everywhere though it's supposed to be the weather's supposed to be bad okay so let's get started so this is the tray I just wanted to show this real quick I picked this up at, um, I'm doing great. I picked this up at Ikea and it's perfect for going through jewelry jars. Cause then I can sort, I think it was like three, might even been $7. I love Ikea. So I picked this up to sort my jewelry. Um, all right. So back to, back to the jar. First thing is something a kid made or would wear. That's not even glass, that's plastic. So this would go into a refill a jar pile. This is a ring. Oh, and this is just, hi Juanita, your package is going out in the morning. Thank you. This is again, just junk stuff. This is marked. Size nine, I don't know, let me see here. Oops. So I got my handy dandy. It is not magnetic. So let's see what that mark is. It looked like it's just like a, a designer mark, not so much a gold mark. Yeah, I can't really tell on this one. Hi, Kyla. So this is a, I don't know. So we'll put that there to be tested. <laughs> uh, we got these black, just plastic cosmetic, or um, not cosmetic, but a costume. These, these are fun. These I would probably put in a resell. I don't know if those are real pearls or not. We'll see if there's a match. So we'll put that over there. We got some bracelets. These all seem to be... They're cold. I don't know what these are. I don't... I don't know. Not really my style, so... Those will go into fill another bin. Or so I'm just going to fill up these and sell them for like five bucks at my garage sale. Um, I paid a lot more than five, but fresh water, you think so? Should I not put these in the junk pile then? We'll put these in the undecided. This is just a costume earring. 
I don't believe it's sterling. No, it's not. Uh, this is a match to that other earring. Kind of faded. Oh, here's another. Here's another one of those. Okay. There seems to be quite a few of these. And then we got just like the crystal ones. Or sequiny kind. This came off. I like this. This is probably handmade, but that's pretty. We'll see if we can get a match for that. Put that there. We got this earring. Cute. Small. Not what I would really wear. So that'll go there. Put my pop here. We got here this. It's like a brutalist looking piece with a fake cat's eye because it doesn't it doesn't wanna it doesn't move. It's just a vintage. Still very pretty. All right, I'm gonna move this so it stops. That should be better. So it stops trying to. Oh, there's more pearls. More pearls. More pearls. Somebody must have had a collection. Cause look at all of these. Next, we got this pretty earring. That's actually really pretty. It changes. That's kind of neat. Um, I don't see it marked silver, but I don't know what kind of stone that is that looks, it almost looks mirrored. We'll put the one earrings there. See if we have doubles. That is really pretty. That is very, very pretty. This is not marked anything, but very pretty brooch. Then we got a tangle. Always a tangle. It's par for the course with these things, though. This is not anything. We double check just in case. Uh, here is another earring, definitely vintage, actually quite pretty. Actually, I really like that one. Hang on. What is that? Dama, Damask or Damascene? Very intricate. Let me see if I can get my camera to stop. See if that helps. So is everybody ready for the holidays? I'm not. <laughs> I'm so behind. Going on vacation the beginning of this month kind of threw me. Uh, so I'm kind of just... I got everything done today. Let me see. This is... This is stir, so I'm, I'm assuming this is sterling. That's a stir. Yes, good. Usually I am done way before even November, and this is like a diploma. It really did. It really, really did go by so fast. Now, I don't know if the, and the bracelet is sterling. So that's a cute find. I am going to, I have so many, I, I love, um, oh, found the other one. I love uh, charm bracelets, so I'm going to, I've been collecting as many charms as possible that I actually like or have any relevance to my life, and I'm going to put those on a charm bracelet or two and then sell the rest of them. 
This is just a plain hoop. Nothing fancy. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. This reminds me of high school. This is... This is not marked, but this is definitely gold. It is. It might be broken. But that is definitely... At probably 10 carat. Um, it isn't marked that I can see. But... Uh, I am almost a thousand percent sure. I'll test it just to be sure, but let's see. Let's do the quick test. I've been wrong before, so. Definitely not magnetic. So we'll have to test that. Unfortunately, it looks like it might have to be scrapped, though, because this part is broken. It used to match this. But I don't know. My daughter loves gold, so she might just wear it as it is. <laughs> uh, this little ring is just... A junker, hold on. But and then just a little gold earring. Well, maybe that works better with the zoom on like that. All right, so we got this bracelet with a knot. And an L. My hands are already dirty from touching just a few of these. This, I don't know if it is sterling or not. Let's... Nope. So, we'll toss that in there. Um, this is a... F I don't know if this is faux. I know nothing about pearls. I know you could put them in your mouth. And to me, that is just... Not gonna happen. <laughs> not, not not knowing where the jewelry has been. Um, it does. Yeah, I don't think these are real. They got chips, so they were probably painted. So this one will go into the junk pile. We got this long vintage chain. I love these. So the jewelry jars are old. Um, I actually bought a few back when Salvation Army was doing theirs. I got some bags and some jars. And there was a couple places that were still doing them. And they've just kind of been sitting here. <laughs> and I used to do them by myself. I would just sit and take a glass of wine and relax and open one. But then I thought maybe you guys would be interested. So... I've been opening them on camera, but they are really hard to find. Usually you can find them at some places. You can find them at your thrift stores and that, but in my area, non-existent. And if they do have them, people are so greedy and so crazy about them that it's just not worth the hassle. All right, so this is a vintage chain. I actually really like that. I think that's a really cool jesus charm i don't see any markings i don't believe it to be silver i think it's just like actually i think it might actually be pewter looks pewter to me you're welcome yeah try i mean best bet is just try your your um thrift stores if they carry jewelry our jewel our thrift stores don't even carry jewelry anymore Ever since the pandemic, most of them stopped carrying it. This, I'm going to say, is probably silver. But we will double check. For those, yeah, this is, this isn't, so it goes in the double check pile. Um, for those of you that can still get them, oh, I'm so jealous. Because it is so, 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 so hard to get. Um... I don't even bother. I've seen them at like flea markets and stuff, but I feel like those ones are, All right, we got a, we got a snaggle. I feel like the ones that are from, um, like flea markets and stuff. I feel like those are people that who bought jewelry jars and are reselling them just like I'm going to, but I'm not going to sell them for a lot, like $5 for somebody who wants to do crafts or whoop. 
who wants to look through just for the fun of it, but not, you know, I would let them know there's nothing of great value in there. Okay, so we have a, it is marked Kirk's Folly. It's a broken Kirk's Folly necklace. Kirk's Folly is a very good brand um, to find if they aren't broken. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a hot mess. I'm not even going to try to untangle this. I just wanted to see if this was possibly gold. It might be gold plated or gold filled. I'm not seeing anything. Um, and then this is by Rachel. Looks like Rachel Ray. And I'm guessing... Oh, yeah, we got a... We got a straight cluster of crap. But hold on, because there looks like there might be something decent in here. So, I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So one of these had a necklace. This one. Oh, no. Just Avon. Pretty, though. I'll double check it. This is a, yeah, this is just a hot mess of, oh, wait, we got some done. Okay. Let's put the tangles over there. This is a very cool necklace. This doesn't look like it's going to take too long to get untangled. Okay. This one is not marked. Um, it's a very cool necklace. It has all the little coins on it. And then we're going to take, just to be sure. Yeah, that's not... But I think that's definitely resellable. This is the little Avon. Hello, Barbara. All right, so we'll put that, the, we'll put that with the vintage. Oh, my fingers are already sticky. Eek. This is just junk jewelry that is... Super, super tarnished, uncleanable. Well, thank you. I appreciate all the likes. Um, This one, oh, this is so pretty. Hold on. That is gorgeous. Hold on, let me get these off. This is right up my alley. <laughs> I love the bling. I, don't, I can't tell if this is older or not, but that is so pretty. So, so pretty. Not marked or anything. It has all its stones. I like that. This was attached to it. And this is marked SP. I'm not sure what that is. And it is a necklace with pearls and Aurora Borealis beads. Uh, this is a cluster of necklaces. All right, so there's those earrings we've seen. Super 80s earrings. These are pretty. These are another earring. Put that with the other earrings. See if, oh, we got a match here, so we're going to put these. Yeah, probably silver plated. Um, this is just junk. It's green. It's uncleanable. It doesn't look, it's like, yeah, it's past its prime. I think, I believe this is the earring that matches that one. And then I don't know if these are real pearls. I like the colors. They're very pretty, very girly. The light pink and the light blue. I'll put those there. So if there's ever anything you see that you like, just let me know. Um, I'll be selling most of this. This is just a yicky, yicky chain. But the, the charm's pretty. I don't think it is anything. 
but it's a cute little cross for someone, not me. So we'll put that there. We got this layered necklace with the pink. This is actually pretty. Back you. I have to find the right setting here for, for you guys when I do videos. Again, I'm super new to the whole live thing, so I'm just kind of winging it until I get the hang of it. So thanks for bearing with me. I appreciate you guys. This, another, I like the mid-century modern um, pieces. They're usually always religious, uh, but that's a cool piece. It is not gold or silver or anything, just costume. Almost feels plastic. We got, oh, oh, so this is party. This is gorgeous. I like this. Back it up there. That is very pretty. Let's see if this is marked. It's not marked anything like a um, designer or anything. Let me check the back. But it's very, very well made. It even has like the little thing here and right there for the clasp. Very, very pretty. That is really, really pretty. I like the, the brown. Hi, girl. How are you? Are you ready for this weather? Oh, I'm not. I'm so not. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so here are, I believe, pearls. And then I'll check to see if this is a gold. No, girl, me neither. I don't see any markings for gold, so... Oh, no. My husband gets sick every year for Christmas. And wouldn't you know it, he's sick today. <laughs> so is my dad. So I'm like, well, you know, we'll wait for a couple of days if we have to. This is some, it looks like snack, it looks like Rice Krispies. Is that a thing? Rice Krispie pearls? Very cool. This is marked 14K. I've never seen pearls like that. They literally look like Rice Krispie Treat or Rice Krispies. <laughs> okay. So we found some gold this time. Most of them have been silver, which I'm not complaining, but you know, it's always nice to find some gold. Thank you. These are pretty. They used to be really good, the, and I never used to buy them. Thank you, I will. I hope you feel better as well. These are just junk. I used to buy, I used to not buy the jewelry jars because it was just, I don't know. But I missed out on a, a lot of good jars back in the day. This is marked, oh, Korea. So these are just junk, char, junk chains. Oh, here's the other one this, yeah these are definitely sterling handmade thank you these are really cute I like those uh, these big guys this is my size Yeah, I, I do it just for the fun of it. I, I just think it's fun to, it's, you know, it's the thrill of the hunt. If you're a thrifter, you're a thrifter. It's always about the hunt, right? So um, that's why I really like doing it. Um, we got two. Now, these I might actually keep. We'll see. Wow, very nice, very nice. That's amazing. They stopped doing it here. Like I said, they don't even sell jewelry half the time in most of the places. Very few thrift stores sell jewelry. And there's a lot of jewelry people in my area, and some of them aren't very nice. So, um, ooh, is this gold? Is it, is it, is it? Uh, not marked that I see. 
Got this little Almost fooled me. Almost did. Let's get the, uh, yep, yeah, nope, it's, they're, they're not, boo. Yeah, it sucks. They, I, I'm addicted now, like, before I never did it, but I'm like, ah, oh, I wish I would have. No, we didn't get a chance to go thrifting. I really wanted to, but um, next time I go, I'm definitely going thrifting. We had so much planned in such a short period of time that there really wasn't enough time. Okay, then we got this. I don't know if this is, like, handmade beads. No, I don't think it is. Like, that clay stuff. It's a cool necklace. I'll sell that. This is cool. This is, like, what is that? Mother of Pearl or Blister Pearls or something. And some other stuff that I don't know the names of. <laughs> Very cool piece. So, if you don't, um, if you don't sell it, what do you do with, like, the stuff that you wouldn't wear or whatever? Just curious what other people do. This earring. Got this earring and this earring. And these are sterling. Oh, these are pretty. These are beach glass. I wonder, I hope there's doubles of these. I love beach glass. These are two different earrings. in there for now these are 1980 special I'm surprised they're not marked Monet or Avon <laughs> I do like some of the 80s stuff but this see and I don't know much about gemstones and and stuff like that so I don't know what this even is it's cold Ah. Uh, you should sell it at a garage sale. People love that stuff. I sold a bunch of it that I had that was just junky stuff at my garage sale, and they loved it. Like, I told them, I said, there's nothing good in there. Like, there's no, well, you never know. I might have missed something. But for the most part, I sell all my stuff at the good, at garage sales. Those are pretty. Just a ball. Just a ball. This is... Looks like a pacifier. I guess they are pretty. I actually do have one lady who buys stuff, beads and stuff from me because she um, makes wind chimes with them. So I think a lot of this stuff that has like beads and stuff like that, I'll put into a little to the side for her and sell it to her pretty cheap this is 12 karat gold filled i think that's very pretty like garnet is that garnet so that's pretty we'll keep keep that for right this second another pearl a lot of pearls in here this one is definitely silver 925. Oops, it's marked right in the air. This guy. Oh, he's so cute. How fun is that? I do not like the necklace. It is just, you know, like a Claire special. Oh, wow. And he's a cutie, a little turtle. Put him in my grad sale pile. I know I won't use him. These things are like my nemesis now. Um, 
I loved the Alex and Ani's when they first came out, but man, the price that you paid and they were just junk after a couple of months. Like if you actually wore your bracelets, they would just turn and tarnish and you can't really do anything once they do. So it was just a waste of money, but I did love them. I wish they would have made them better. This is just a pretty vintage enamel pin with rhinestones. It's got a fancy back. I don't know if that's indicative of a specific designer or just a better made piece. I don't know. Again, I'm not like by no means a jewelry guru. <laughs> I just like jewelry. Looks like a football. It does look like a football or a blimp or maybe a egg. Hey girl. Uh, we got this sterling necklace with this pendant. Put that in the silver pile. We got this liquid silver and turquoise necklace. I have a ton of these. If anyone is interested, I have a bunch of these that I'm going to be selling. Um, I just bought too many, I realized. So I'm getting rid of a bunch. So uh, we have this pretty necklace. This is marked. Is this Monet? I don't know. Let's see. Are we looking on the wrong side? I'm looking on the wrong side. Looks like an M and a T or something. It is pretty. Oh, look, my hands are already dirty from digging in this. <laughs> Very pretty. Uh, well, we got the matching pearl necklace that goes with the pearl bracelet that I found, which is sterling. This is really pretty. We got a ton of pearls. Ah, uh, here's another pearl something or other. Oh, this was cool. Do do. Uh oh, what did we drop? Oh, what did we drop? We have this little earring that is marked China A. Let's test that, see if that's anything. This is super cool. I like this a lot. This is a faux pearl necklace with gold and rhinestones. Every time I come back from Florida, I'm always sick too, but we wore our masks this time. I didn't care what anybody saw it looked like because even before COVID or anything, I was like, man, I wish we could wear a mask because I always, always get sick from the plane. At least I feel like it's from the plane. And, oh, so that earring, this earring fell, which matches the sterling necklace we just saw. Um, I always get sick. It might not be from the plane. Who knows? I might have already had it, but this is funky. Looks like somebody made this. We got this is... bracelet. I don't know if that's real pearls or not, so we'll put that there. This is like, this is pretty. Hold on, let's see what we got here. This necklace. Ooh, 
Ooh, these are some pretty colors. <clears throat> I love those colors. Turquoise and coral. And is this sterling? This I think that is. So that's different. The colors are cool. And we got this guy, which is pretty. Little bling necklace. Oh, we got one of the beach glass. Another one of the beach glass earrings. So we got a we got a pair there. I really like the big one, and I have a necklace that matches that, so hopefully we find that one. Um, these are glass beads. That is very 70s looking to me. Very cool. Not my style, so I'll be selling or whatever with that, because more so for... I don't know. I just like to dig through people's stuff. <laughs> Like, we did storage auctions, and they're so, so fun. If you like that kind of stuff, storage auctions are a lot of fun. I didn't tape it because I didn't know if anybody wanted to see it. I may uh, do another one when the weather gets better, but they were a lot of fun. I did wind up getting a few things. No jewelry. But I did get a... um. A brand new Switch, Nintendo Switch, and some other stuff. All right, so this is Talbot's. And that's really pretty. Looks brand new. Eh. It's not super overwhelming. We had a good time. I wouldn't do it alone, that's for sure. Too much to do alone. This is just a stretchy. Probably use the rhinestones for crafts so over there oh here's another one of those necklaces okay i will i will for sure it's so much fun though oh my gosh so this is another one of those i really like the colors i love that orangey coral color I'm trying to think what else was in there i know that the we i sold and made um my money back on the unit or the switch i made my money back on the unit and made some 100 bucks let me see uh no they look to be the same length But I made some money, and I wound up getting a few things that I wanted. Oh, I, I only bought it for, this is a nice long necklace. I bought it because they had the silver um, metal shelves in them, and they were like $100 a piece. So I paid $200 for the unit, and I got my shelves. I got three, three shelves, and... Um, made my money back plus well I made I definitely made a profit so but a lot of times you get a lot of stuff in them and it's a lot of work all right so this is tangled hello I didn't get to see who that was hi Angie all right so this is a broken oh no it's not it's just a long necklace with different color beads and then we got this which is 925 italy and i believe this is like a zales or a um zales or one of them store probably real diamonds teeny tiny diamonds but real diamonds and the last one i got um five four or five no i think there was five or six necklaces from zales and they were all silver with diamond real diamonds um Juanita bought two of them she will be getting them they're beautiful here's another heart in case you need one 
there. All right, what else do we have? We got this, which is not marked. Um, thank you. Let's say something. It says V. I don't know if that's V or Bradley or something. Oh, we got this, which is, I don't think that's silver. Actually a pretty cool looking chain though. I'll see if I can get that cleaned up, but let's double check that it's not silver. Doo -doo. Nope, it is not. So I'm not even bother cleaning it. This cute little earring. We got this, which is marked 14 carat. I think that's this one. Oh no, gold filled. Never mind. Never mind. We got some hematite. This is actually a really pretty necklace. It's actually very pretty. I don't know if it's the chunks or what. I actually really like this one. And I normally don't like hematite. So. That is a cool piece. Put that with the pearls. This looks like grapes. This is cold. It looks like Concord grapes. With like that white fuzzy frosting on there. Or not frosting. <laughs> but you know like. I don't know. They look like grapes. And it is... Let's see if it's marked. I don't see anything. But I'm going to double check because this is very cold to the touch. And I don't know what kind of stone that is. If anyone... Is familiar. All I can tell is it looks like grapes. So we got these super, super yellow um, old, I'm going to assuming faux pearls. Oh, this says sterling. I never know how to get my yeah, I think it is. This, I believe, says sterling. Something. I know that they can either be marked in here, right? Oops. Be able to see. In there. Oh, it is marked. I cannot see that with my naked eyes. All right, let me see. What do we got here? It is marked. Fourteen something something, so gold filled. Um, This one is marked sterling. I swear I looked at it like three times, too. This one is marked sterling. Super yellow vintage. Not sure why. I mean, I guess is it real pearls then? Why would they put sterling? It is broken, but very. I checked the other part too because you taught me that before, and I didn't see it until I literally put it up to the thing. <laughs> Just a random earring. We got this bracelet or necklace. This is funky. I like the paper clip situation. And then Oh, you see it? All right. We got this earring. Oh, really? We got the other match to this one. 
these are marked. These are not marked. These are your 80s special again. I like them though. We got this plastic. Okay. <laughs> Over here somewhere. Um, 80s. There's the matching earring to that one. These funky little guys. I do not find big earrings that often in jewelry jars. It's very disheartening. We got these. And this is something, like I said before, that I'll put aside for the girls for prom. This is this is a promy type of uh, necklace. That's what a lot of these are putting away for the prom. All right, we'll get, maybe it's this. This is, this is actually really nice. This is a scarab carved bracelet get that. There we go. With the scarabs carved into it and it is marked um 12 karat gold burt cassell burt castle burt cassell Gold filled, I'm assuming. I wonder if that says something on there. But I really like that piece. That probably, even with the gold and the silver, might be my favorite piece. All right. We got, oh, these are fun. These are sterling. These are sterling. Don't know what kind of stone that is. But the beads. Those are actually really pretty. Let's hope there's another one in there. Put that there. Oh, I found the other one. And I found the other earring to, hold on, we found a couple. <laughs> All right, we found this one, this guy. This is already in there somewhere. We found this one, which is exciting because that's so pretty. We got this one. So yeah, if you're ever interested in looking to donate um, like costume jewelry like super costumey stuff like for a prom look and see if there's um a charity in your area for the prom i just had it zoomed in because if i don't zoom it in it, it gets blurry this is just a junk thingy these earrings these see now these would be great if they were pierced but they're not and i don't have the time or, or uh, energy to make them that way. They'll just go to somebody who will use them the way they are. Oh, look, we got a cluster. <laughs> like last time. All right, so we got a... don't think this... All right, so this is... This is 925. Let's see if this one is... Oh, the bead's not marked. This isn't... Let's see. Well, it's not magnetic, so that's that's a start. Let me look it over really. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I'll look it over a little better, but I don't I don't think it is. It's not magnetic, but it's not um marked either, and I don't think it is. This is mark nine two five. Ooh, which one is that? Which one did you look up, darling? Was it this one? This one? 
It is so pretty. All right, I'll have to look that up. Thank you. Um, okay, put that back in there. Okay, so we got these. These are actually cool. See, it always wants to check out what's behind me. These are just junky. These rhinestone earrings. I don't know if those are marked or not. What those are. These are 90s or 80s. I'm going to the mall to hang out for the day. Was anyone else a mall rat? I was a mall rat. My mom would drop us off at the mall and we would just stay there for hours and hours. Hers is gold. Oh, let me make it gold too. Um, we would stay there for hours. Just walk around, get our pictures taken. Look for boys. <laughs> the good old days. I don't know if it was not eighties, nineties, but I was too old to go to too young in the eighties to go to the mall by myself. This is nine two five. This goes on like a slide necklace. It's got little rhinestones in the flowers. It's really pretty. Oh, just a junky earring. Um, 80 special again. These are just junkers. This is a Coro piece. This is just a Random. This would be pretty, but the color's off a little bit on that. So I'll probably just fill that. Oh, I like these. These are cool. These are probably Claire's special too, but that's okay. First off, these are just... This might be silver, so I'll put that there. But these... Are like the cuffs that go up your ear. So I like these. I'll probably keep these. I have to go get some of my holes re-pierced. I haven't had earrings in them in so long that they uh, have closed up. These are all just junkers. I usually go through this again after I'm done doing it in case I missed anything, which can happen. Uh, this one, I believe, is silver. This one. The other one, too. This, I don't know what it is. There's two of them. They're not earrings. Hmm. Little stick pin. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Got the other one. It's for a, a necklace to make it shorter. How do you do that? We're down to the nitty gritty. These are all junk. Oh, I feel so gross. <laughs> My hands. Oh, okay. My fingers are filthy. Um, That's silver. This one, I don't know. I have to double check. I'll put that there for now. We got some pearl earrings. These might be, let's see. And a half a honeycomb. Let's see the pearls. Ooh. The pearls are, I can't 
can't tell if they're marked. This one is so disgusting, I want to throw up. Oh! Can we just, can we just, can we just, look, I have to share the grossness with you. Look at how, bleh. I just hope something spilled on that, and that's not, not from somebody's ear, but I think that's real. Oh, God. Bleh. Yuck. All right, so we got these, which match the necklace that is sterling. We got that that fell that wasn't anything. We've got these big chunkies that could, yeah, disgusting. Could be Kate Spade. Does Kate Spade mark her jewelry? Yeah, that was definitely disgusting. I don't know if Kate Spade marks her jewelry. I have some Kate Spade earrings, but they're not marked. So I don't know if those are or not. I'll put those to the side. Here's another pair of those silver and fake diamond. Ew, no. Girl, my hands were sticky two minutes into this thing. Oh, God, and here's the other one. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, oh, my Lanta, no. <sighs> That's cute. Looks like a little snowman. Oh, her backs are marked. Let's see. No, well, this doesn't have backs, so that doesn't help. All right. Um, we got... This charm. What's pro Oh, the, the gross, nasty ones? Yeah, I know. Disgusting. Of course they are. Um, this I don't think is gold. It's pretty. We'll put it there just to double check. Um... These guys are interesting. I'll double check those. Double check this one. Don't look at my dirty fingers because of that. Um, these are just junkies. This one kind of looks silver either way i really like like that and this one matches a necklace in here all right well, let's see we are down to the end the end and all right so these definitely are marked something i'm gonna I'm going to try to see if I can see while you guys are here. Uh, we have this, which is... Just a little rhinestone. I don't think it's anything, but we'll double check that. Got that one. This earring, so we have a pair with the matching slider. We have a pair with the matching necklace. This thing, is that another one of them? I'm gonna assume that is. Those are actually really pretty. Rhinestone, we got a I like you. <laughs> 1974 PP something. Where is it? I like you. I like that. I like you. <laughs> uh, here's a little snow girl. Oh, here's the matching one. This matching one. And then the rest are all just kind of nothing. Put those there. 
Um, these black ones are interesting, but... So, oh wait, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. The Tangle, what's in the Tangle? All right, so last time we got a bunch of silver necklaces. This, I am seeing nothing sterling except for maybe this guy. And I think this is actually possibly Swarovski. Um, that's silver. This one's, these ones are silver. Yeah, that's what I figured. These ones. This one's silver. We got a Liz Claiborne. We got a 925. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, the squirrel's mark. That's what I figured that was a... Swarovski ski mark I'm assuming he's probably the silver one um but yeah we got silver a couple definite silvers and a Liz Claiborne for sure the rest I don't know <laughs> oh wait this is a cool clasp who's that this is uh one of the clasp N Thank you, Anitra. I appreciate that. So, I will untangle these and figure out what we got here. Um, like I said, a couple of them are definitely silver. And one is definitely Liz Claiborne. <laughs> so, the other one took me about 45 minutes. But if you like this video and you like me to do the lives, please give, please give a thumbs up so I know to continue to do these. Um, I will definitely have one for you again Wednesday. Um, I have a big box that I'm going to open myself because it's just too much. It would be like a three-hour video <laughs> um, on Christmas. And I'm going to have myself a little glass of wine and a little charcuterie board. And that's going to be my little Christmas present to myself. So I will film like a before picture of when I open it and then an after what goodies I found instead of making you go through it because there'll probably be a huge stack of junk in there. Um, but that's all for my video and I appreciate you guys coming to chat with me um, and thank you all for, you know, giving me tips and, and telling me what things are. I appreciate it because, again, I love jewelry but I am no expert so I love learning about it. And like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.